All right, welcome back everybody. This is XL Tactical and hopefully you guys uh, have taken a look at this uh, video on the Glock 43X and the current status of where it's at. I uh, love this particular gun. Hopefully you guys uh, do watch this video. If not, I'm gonna li link it down in the description area below. Um, and let me know what you guys think. I put a lot of uh, blood, sweat and tears into this particular build. Uh, but without further ado, let's jump into the video that we got at hand. So I'm gonna be talking about um, some firearms here on the table uh, that I ended up uh, purchasing for under 350. Uh, how I use them, what my current use for them is, um, and a little bit of, of details of, of the firearm. So let's get right into it. First off, right here up front, we have the Ruger LCP2. This is chambered in 380. Um, comes with one particular magazine, six round uh, capacity. Um, I typically, use this particular firearm if I'm going out for a uh, you know, quick walk, uh, going out to the car, throwing out the garbage, uh, mailbox, uh, you know, just taking a quick step out of the house and without having to jump into a, a bigger host or a bigger firearm, uh, I like putting this in my pocket and I still feel that I'm being uh, protected when I go out into the street. Um, so this uh, firearm, I ended up um, getting uh, out the door for I believe uh, 290 if I'm not too mistaken uh, that's the Ruger LCP2 I uh, usually like to pair this up with a small little bench made um, blade you know spring assist <laughs> um, so yeah that's a nice little uh, pocket carry that I like to have on it. next up we have uh, two very similar guns uh, one is the G2C and the G3C so when I first purchased this I ended up getting this gun for right around 325. That was around three years ago. I mean, two years ago. Um, but you can probably find this this gun well under uh, $250 now. Even on the used market, probably even $200. Um, very nice quality fire, nine millimeter. Um, and it comes with two uh, 12 round magazines, which are excellent. Uh, nice quality uh, mags, uh, has a, external safety um, and a lot of um, good safety uh, features added to this particular firearm. Very budget minded, Taurus has uh, really done really good within the last uh, couple years on some of the firearms that they're putting out. Um, so this is a good um, option to, to go. And the reason why you can find these uh, so much cheaper is because they've released uh, an upgrade to it or an updated version of it and that is the G3C. Hopefully you guys have seen that video, an in-depth uh, uh, review on this particular one. If you haven't, uh, make sure you watch that. Uh, but some of the features that the G2C had, uh, they updated and upgraded um, some, some better features to it and still kept price uh, budget-minded so that they didn't go up on the price. Um, so they did some changings on the sights. Uh, they upgraded their trigger, which was really nice. They still kept the safety on it. Um, they added some forward serrations and a little bit of beveling within the slide, which was really nice. Kept the, the rail uh, system there so you can put on a weapon slide or accessories. Um, and a lot of the, the very nice things like the, the gripping texturing on it is still on there. Um, they got rid of some other parts that, you know, they've hurt some of their, their customers, consumers, and still, again, kept this gun at a good quality price. Um, now you can probably find this around the 300 mark. Uh, I ended up getting it at a great price, uh, right around 250 out the door. And the beauty of it is that it brought uh, three of these 12 round magazines. So these are interchangeable with the G2C ones as well. They fit. Uh, so that's uh, an excellent firearm uh, for right at $250. Um, and puts you in the market with a, with a quality, uh, reliable uh, firearm. So let's keep going. Next up here, we have the Springfield XDS, which is a single stack magazine um, with a capacity of seven uh, on this particular magazine. And it comes with an eight round magazine as well. Uh, this particular firearm, again, one of the first firearms that I got um, quite some time ago, I ended up getting for $400. Now the reason why I included into this particular one and why that one cost me $400 is because it was a gear up special. It brought a lot more other things. It brought a range bag, it brought five mags, um, I believe a holster, 
um, and some other little things that it came with. So $400. Now I've looked online and this particular firearm, you can probably find out the door now, uh, well under 350, probably might not bring the stuff that, that I got with it, but that's what you can find it for. And in the used market, uh, you can probably find it, uh, you know, closer to the $300 uh, dollar range. Springfield XDS, again, like I said, it's a subcompact, smaller firearm. A lot of safety uh, features in there. It has an internal safety. It has uh, a beaver tail safety. It has a trigger safety. Um, very nicely. So it doesn't have an external safety. It has a chamber, a uh, loaded chamber indicator, fiber optic front sights, um, three dot, I mean, two dot white um, rear sights. Um, and it's a nice quality firearm. Uh, never had any issues with this um, and Springfield, you know, offers such a different variety of, of firearms. They have uh, offer full versions of this. There's a, there's an updated version of this, a mod two, uh, and a bunch of different uh, firearms that are that are uh, offered by, by Springfield. Um, again, single stack. That's the one difference on this one. So uh, less capacity, uh, but a nice firearm to have small uh, fits in your palm real well and good quality firearm to have and to get into the concealed carry. Again, uh, very budget-minded uh, firearm and uh, uh, quality firearm as well. I usually like pairing this up with, uh, you know, a little pocket blade here. Another one of my Smith & Wesson uh, blades. Really like these kind of blades. They, they're sturdy, uh, they're affordable, and they stay sharp. Um, and you can use them, you know, anywhere you want. So let's keep going. Uh, so lastly on the table, what I have here, um, and you know, I'm, I'm sure somebody's going to say that's not a $350 firearm. Um, well, you're right. This is the Glock 19. Uh, forget about the optic that's on here and forget about the threaded barrel. Um, this particular firearm, uh, brand new, this is a Gen 4 version. Um, brand new, you're probably looking at $500 uh, or so. Um, could be a little bit higher, could be a little bit lower. Uh, but um, this firearm, the way I purchased it, was um, a used market. Uh, didn't come with this stuff. I added those little things. Uh, but you can probably find this firearm um, in, in a used market, pawn uh, shops or, you know, local gun store, depending on, on when you have a, a good pricing on this come in. You can probably get this right around the 350 mark. Um, you know, maybe a little bit more. So I kind of left this for last. Uh, but when you're talking about, you know, firearms that are reliable, uh, Glock is probably the, the most popular brand that people are going to recommend you. Um, I'm going to do the same thing. It is a very nice uh, firearm, um, very reliable. Um, can't say it's jam free because no gun is that, uh, but it is uh, a quality um, Austrian uh, firearm. Uh, Glock, Glock's name is very synonymous with being reliable. A lot of police units um, uh, use this um, and they put their, their life on the line with a, with a firearm like this. Um, there's pluses and, and minuses for, for Glocks. Um, I, I, I enjoy them. I don't, I'm not a great fan of them. I, I typically think that for what you're paying for this, you shouldn't have to do too much upgrades to it. Um, and I, a lot of people that I know that have uh, Glocks end up doing upgrades to getting them to how they want to be. That's where I don't like them so much. Um, and again, there's a couple other firearms that I think for the price that you're paying on this, um, you can get a little bit more features or accessories or um, just benefits that the gun has. Uh, but this is the Glock 19. Um, there are uh, versions of this. The Glock 4th uh, Gen does have the finger grooves here. Um, and you can get this. This is a 9mm. It does come typically with two 15 round mags, right? Um, and they're very nice, solid uh, polymer mags. Um, and if you're in the right market, you could probably find this for well under two, uh, 350. Um, so I highly encourage that. Now, again, like most of the other ones, I typically carry this one with uh, a SOG uh, blade, uh, very nice quality raids, um, very sharp, uh, good edge, um, and always nice to have one of these suckers in your, in your pocket whenever you're, you're going out with uh, one of your firearms. So that brings us to the end of this video. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, my version of how you can get into a firearm uh, for well under 350 um, and different 
um, options that you have there. Uh, like I always say with firearms, it's better to have it and not need it uh, than need it and not have it. Um, you know, if you start off with something like a 22, a 380, uh, whatever kind of firearm, whether it's a nine millimeter, 40 cal, uh, 45, 357, 38 special, uh, the list goes on and on. Um, if you feel comfortable with it and you can train with it, you can get out there and use the firearm for what's intended uh, to protect yourself and those that you love. Um, it's always great. Um, again, please stay tuned. Don't forget to click on, on the notification bell so when videos drop like this, um, you stay up to date on that. Uh, but until next time, I'll see you guys later.